I brought up before that parallel processing is important in terms of tokenization. So the idea is that a request gets a given number of tokens, whether it's text generation, image generation. Um, this is both tokens for input, so how long a request you can make, more or less. Um, it's not in words or characters, though. The computer chops your request up into tokens and runs them in parallel processing. Um, so you get a certain number of tokens for input. You get a certain number of tokens for output. Um, this is why when you make a request of an AI, um, it might say, oh, you asked for 10,000 words. I'm only able to give you 3,500 characters. Um, that's a common output window control. Um, or there's also um, token limits for input for reading documents. Um, so again, the main idea here is that tokens relate to parallel processing, um, that you're going to get a certain number of tokens for your input and a certain number of tokens for your output. Um, and those limit what you're going to be able to create with the AI in one request. Um, so you know, if you want to get an AI to write a book, um, you could do it, but you'd have to do it like 10 paragraphs at a time. So it'd be really annoying to do. And you'd have to use RAG to keep feeding the prior paragraphs in and say, like, continue this story or novel or whatever, um, but you wouldn't get as consistent an output if you were able to do it in one step because you're chopping it up. Um, on what basis are tokens made? It's not really by phonetics. It's kind of by like just kind of how AIs work. They tend to be two or three letters long, um, but you could feed like the same words into an AI and end up with different token breakdowns. Um, I can't really explain, unfortunately, much more than that because um, I don't really understand it fully myself. Um, but it's basically what you can feed into one content window um, or going into one AI. So I assume that you know if you had a more complex AI than ChatGPT, uh, the tokens might be one character each um, or half a character each. Um, versus if you had some kind of much simpler AI, you might be able to feed more to uh, letters into a single token context window. Good question. No, I don't want to spin. I want to go to the next slide. OK, um, so I'll start wrapping up. We're getting close to time here. Um, one important concept to consider that people ask a lot of questions about is law regarding AI. Um, so like, will I get sued is probably what it comes down to the most. Um, at least in America, I obviously can't speak to globally, but probably similar in most other countries. Um, suing someone comes down to money, right? You want to get money from them. And in general, people want to sue people who have money. This includes corporations. And people don't really want to sue people who don't have money, which typically is small individuals. Um, in America, you typically also have to demonstrate damages um, that you know someone lost something in money. They had a monetary loss um, in order to really get them. Um, so checking chat. Um, you know, I think as individuals, we don't have to be super concerned um, about getting sued with AI. Thank you.